Good morning, Oak Park School. This is your favorite anchorman, Coach Prov, and welcome to the Morning Raw. Today is Thursday, September 21st, 2023. Our special student guest for this morning's news is Kaylin. At this time, would you please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance? I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, and invisible, with liberty and justice for all. Would you please remain standing for our Panther Pledge? I, I will, today I will be respectful on tax, accepting and responsible. I am the Oak Park Panther. Here we roar! You may be seated. Thanks for helping out this morning. We will now take some time to pause for a moment of silence. Use this time, your own personal thoughts, prayers, or quiet reflections. It's time to head to the Literacy Lab. Grab your lab coats and let's check it out. <laughs> Good morning, friends, and welcome to the Literacy Lab. I'm Patty Manson. I'm Heather Regan. And I'm Kate O'Hare. And we're, we're your reading, reading interventionists. interventionists. Have any of you ever wondered what those big white boards with colorful pictures are that can be found all around campus? They look like a bigger version of this. Hmm. And if you look very closely, you'll see that all the boards are different. Hmm. Today, the Lit Lab is going to begin a new series called Communicating with Core, where we will take you around campus to see where these boards are located and how they can each be used with our students. Created by Project Core, these boards represent something called the Universal Core Vocabulary. This is a symbolic vocabulary model and is aimed at students with significant disabilities who do not use, who do not yet use speech, signs, or symbols to communicate in flexible ways. This includes students who rely on early forms of communication, such as facial expressions, vocalizations, and mm -hmm. body movements, as well as students who are beginning to use symbols, signs, and words, but can't quite put them together yet. These tools are for all cl classroom and campus staff to deliver access to a universal mm -hmm. core vocabulary and communication instruction during the naturally occurring routines of a school day. No prior training or experience with mm -hmm. AAC is necessary to get started, but it should, you should have a fundamental belief and classroom culture that recognizes that all students mm -hmm. can learn to communicate in increasingly complex ways is required. So friends, sit back and enjoy while some of our guest students show us how to use our first core board today located in the hallway outside of media. Have a great day and see you again around campus. Bye friends. Bye. Bye. Oh, we can't have the videotape. We can't have the camera. You gotta turn around and help me. You gotta turn around and help me. You're gonna help me? You're gonna help. Yeah. I need you to help me. Yeah. How do you feel? Show me. You feel frustrated? Oh, okay. What do you want to do when you feel frustrated? Look. Do you want to count to ten? Let's count to ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. How do you feel now? You feel sick? Sorry. You feel sick? Do you want to go take a walk? 
You want to go and take a walk? Where do you want to go? Back to your classroom? Can you write that? Where do you want to go for a walk? In the library? Oh, okay. We can go for a walk in the library. What's that say? Computer. Computer. Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe when we go back to class. Go back to class. We can go on the computer. Okay, we can ask Miss Charlotte. Yes. But first, look. But first, we're going to go take a walk in the library. Then we'll go back to the classroom. Okay. Yes. Can I borrow your board? May I borrow your board? Can you do this? Can you help? Look, wait, wait, wait. The teacher, this teacher, watch. Make a movie with that. Thank you. Yeah? Yes. Can you turn around for me? Here, go. How are you feeling? How are you? Oh, you're feeling sad? Why? Aren't Did you happy? You? Oh. Hayden, thank you. Are you happy to make a movie? Yes, that's what we're doing. Yeah. Super. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much. I we are thank all you. finished. We can go. Oh, I see. We can all. go for a walk. Finished, and he wanted to go for a walk in the library. In the library. Thank you, Ms. Jenkins. Thank you. Here's a word about our ice cream event from Miss Allie. Hi everyone, Allie Kaiser here sharing with you the most up-to-date average color level for the special PBIS Make Your Own Ice Cream Sunday event, which is taking place on September 29th. Remember, in order to receive entry to this super awesome ice cream event, your whole class must be, at the minimum, a level red. All right, let's take a look at the list. So, it looks like we have in the red level, Rindall, Harbor, Ryder, Quattlebaum, and Amira's class. In the blue level, we have Klein, Dunn, Lasash, Holmes, and Adams. And in the gold level, we have Duckworth, Peters, and Petersons. So far, these classes qualify for the event. If I have not mentioned your class yet, don't be discouraged. You have all the way until September 29th to work together to get into the red level. All right, everyone, thanks for listening. And if you're curious as to know, well, how do I know if my class is in the red level? What are the calculations? Well. Let's tune in to Mr. Weber, who's our TPS guru, and he can tell you more. Hey everybody, my name's Lewis Weber. Some of you have seen me walking around campus. I am a consultant to the district, and I love working at Oak Park with all the wonderful teachers and students and staff. I wanted to today show you how we're keeping track of things, and what I mean by things, talking about your roar behavior. Now, of course, you're also being um, uh, evaluated on your reading and your writing and your science and your math, all those things, right? But at Oak Park, we have ROAR, respect, on task, accepting and responsible behavior. I know you've heard that before. And so each day your teacher keeps track of how you're doing with that. So I wanted to show you how that connects to your panther paws, the dollars that you can spend at the ROAR store. Right? I hope a lot of you have been to the Roar store, and you probably have seen me there with Ms. Alley and, all, and some other staff. We love seeing you on Fridays at the Roar store. So let's take a look here. I'm going to now show you how this works. Now, there's a lot of numbers on the screen, but I want you to look at this column right here, the Paul Bucks. These numbers to the left, all of these numbers, these are the numbers that summarize how you did during the week. But the ones that I want you to focus on are these green numbers. And they are the Paul Bucks. And that summarizes how you did. Now you see for the student here, 
His name is Pete Moss. You see how each week he has done. So the most recent week in this example is September 22nd. And for the week, Pete earned 26 paw bucks. Now that comes from the panther paws that your teacher may give you, but also from your war behaviors. And because Pete earned 26 paw bucks for the week, that puts him in the gold group. Let's take a look at the next student to give you an idea how this works. And I'm going to scroll to the right. Here's Coriander. Corey was in the gold group during the last week, but this week he's not quite as um, sharp with his roar behaviors. He earned uh, 17 paw bucks, which puts him in the red group. Let's show one more example. Here's Justin Case. For this week, Justin has 21 paw bucks. That puts him in the blue group. Now, at the end of the week, you're going to be able to uh, spend your paw bucks or look at the color group. And I'm going to show you that in just a second. But before I do, I'm going to scroll back to the left here and look at this classroom average. So for this last week, this classroom is in the red group. And what that tells me is that all of you in a particular class or in this class, this example that I'm showing you, all of the students combined as an average were in the red group. And that is going to be more important as we move forward in the school year because what we want to do is have you and your class earn a class prize, some kind of special event on Fridays based on how everybody is doing. So that's the class average in the color group. Now you, you've heard me talk about these color groups. The last thing I'm going to show you is what happens on Friday is the amount of pause that you earn goes into this dollar bill. And now some of you have seen this. Your teacher prints out a dollar bill and you spend it at the Roar store. We also have these color groups which are shown over here. So Pete Boss, as I had mentioned, was in the gold group. He earned 26 paws and that gets printed on this dollar bill so Pete can come to the Roar store and spend $26 and go to the gold table. Now some of you aren't quite so um, well, uh, they quite so well understand the numbers. And so what we have is the ability to give you a gold coin that you'll then exchange for a prize on the gold table. Well, that's a lot of information I know. And so we're going to practice it each Friday when you come to the Roar store. Again, my name is Lewis Weber. Thanks for letting me share with you the color groups and Roar and what we call TPS measurement. And now's a word about tonight's Literacy Night from our reading interventionists. <laughs> Good morning, everyone, and welcome to the morning news. We have another announcement and a reminder about tonight's special event. We're going to have a Literacy Night here at the park from 6 to 8 p.m. We will have fun demonstrations, giveaways, including our candle, mm -hmm. games and refreshments for students and their families. Hope to see you there. Come by and say hello. We look forward to seeing you tonight, friends. Have a great day, Panthers. Bye. We will end this morning with our Throwback Thursday, where we highlight a famous event that happened on this date in history. On this day in 1937, J.R.R. Tolkien's The Hobbits is published for the first time. We hope you have a great day, Panthers, and like always, continue to... Raw!